Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you with what you can see Glory Hound. I've heard a lot of good stuff about this game. I am very excited to jump into this. Uh, I, I, I think it's another superhero furry game. Maybe, I think, with like maybe dark, I think darker themes than Supernova and such. This looks more like, uh, like down, rough and tumble kind of heroes and such. But maybe it's not about heroes at all. Maybe they're like gangs or something. I don't know. <laughs> Very interested to find out. Oh god, star ton, star stud, oh my goodness. But yeah, I am very excited to get into this, guys, so please join me on this new adventure we're embarking on in Glory Hounds. Alarm chain, you're up, and let's go. Start. Okay, alright. I can't breathe. Most of my body's numb. Occasional searing jolts of pain aside. It's been numb for a while. I don't know how much longer I can keep going like this. How much longer I can keep running. Everything I do just leads to more suffering. More pain. More stares. Really? Really? <laughs> Dawn Hound. Come on, Spot, pick up the pace! Betrayed by my closest ally. Can't... Too... Many... My legs are screaming in agony, but no one answers their call. Raven 3, what's the situation out there? Over. A voice crackles suddenly and loudly over the radio. I grip the handrail like my life depends on it. The last thing I'd want is to go tumbling down these steps. Because I'm pretty sure I won't be able to get up again. Our adversary is on the roof, sir. <clears throat> what kind of voice should I do for a while? Our adversary is on the roof, sir. Diamond should still be on his person. Any other hostiles on the roof? Over. Negative. However, Beast is most dangerous when cornered. Advise caution. Hmm. Hmm. Raven 3, I need you to say over. 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 <laughs> oh, bulges. Oh, it's the... <laughs> Good. Over and out. You heard him, Spot. Just a few more floors to go. God. Why do you have to pick a skyscraper? Shouldn't places like these have elevators? I better get to ra- I better be getting a raise after this. Ah! I think we're at the top now. There's a big metal door blocking our way. Stand back! The boss bars my way with an arm in the side- the side- with an arm the size of a tree trunk. You're not seriously going to- Nope. Ow! 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 That made me hurt. Ow! 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 He hisses, clutching his foot, hopping around like a madman. I put myself between him and the stairwell, and I'm pretty sure they'd dock my paycheck if I let the boss fall down the stairs and break his back. Ah! Oh, that probably wasn't the smartest move. No kidding. Here, let me do it. I grab the door's handle and push forward. Huh, it isn't locked at all. The way the boss is looking at me, you'd think I just aced an exam on quantum physics. I knew I hired you for a reason. He gives me a pat on the back that knocks me against the metal door. It slams wide, it slams open wide, blasting us with cold air, bringing us face to face with... A villain? Oh, a circle? Maybe? The target. Oh, that's some awesome art. There you are, you treacherous snake! You won't get away this time! Well, well, if it isn't the Dawn Hound everyone's talking about. A dark chuckle sounds from the other end of the rooftop, and sends, it's enough to send shivers down a man, any man's spine. Oh! Oh! Oh, this music is so good! Oh, man, this is my jam! Or maybe the shivers are just my vertigo getting the best of me. I press on. The other uneven rooftop gravel... And this uneven rooftop gravel is hell underneath my already sore feet, even with my boots on. And the cool spring air is making me regret my choice of outfit. Oh, he's a chameleon! I have to admit, I'm surprised you'd be foolish enough to follow me all the way up here. Of course, judging by your fashion sense, making bad choices seems to be rather to come rather naturally to you. Give it up, villain! You've nowhere left to run! Pretty soon, the only thing you're gonna be wearing is prison stripes! I'm not so sure, Mr. Dawnhound. Because from my point of view, you seem rather cornered yourselves. Like a predator about to pounce, he regards me with squinted eyes. All right, this is the moment I've trained for. I assume the position. Shoulders straight, arms outstretched, index finger pointed at the culprit. Just like they do it in the movies. 
hand over those diamonds right now, uh... <laughs> what was your name again? The horned chameleon rubs the back of his scaly head, tilting it slightly. <laughs> Are you quite serious right now? I'm bad with names, okay? I just told you five minutes ago. The tragic backstory, remember? The invisibility powers? Starts with a K. Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. He growls ferociously. Camoa! Huh? It's Camoa, you blithering idiot! Ka! Moa! Camus? Cam Camus, maybe? Camus, okay. Oh! Badass! Did you come up with that one on your own? Next to me, the boss buries his face in his paws. Can we just fight, please? <clears throat> Camus. Camus. Camus, okay. For the love of God, yes! Alright, let's do it! You're going down, Camo. Yeah, Camo, okay. You just had to... Oh. It's Cam... You know what? No. I've just had about... I've just had just about enough of you. Oh. Rise, my minions! Oh. Oh, the production quality on this is so good! Five butterflies with brightly colored wings ascend behind him just off the building. Are those actual swords? Actual... Swords. Oh, so it's the parademons. Actual swords?! Uh-oh. Airborne hostiles were spotted. I thought you said there were no other hostiles! No other hostiles on the roof. Do be listening, yes. Nothing we can't handle! Let's see this chameleon turn black and blue! Like flashing before my eyes, like flashing before my eyes, I set a new world record for zooming through the five stages of grief. My eyes meet the bosses right as I'm at the, bar right as I'm at, as I'm at the bargaining stage. Help! Easy, Spot! Easy! Easy! They're gonna kill us! It might seem scary, but they wouldn't know teamwork if it struck them in the face. Which we are about to do, repeatedly. His warm glove paw on my shoulder only does so much to soothe my nerves. So quick to judge, but you couldn't be further from the truth if you tried. See, unlike you and your precocious little pup, I take care to train and dress my employees properly. Minions! Make fur coats out of them! No! Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, this is so much good artwork! My name's Alex DeRouge. I'm 28 years old, completely and utterly single. I live in Shippersburg, the capital of ba Batavia, where the weather is never just right. We always find something to complain about. This is gonna sound cliche, but you're probably wondering how I ended up here. Truth is, I, I wonder too. And uh, not just anyone decides to throw on some high, some thigh-high boots and a mask to fight an overgrown lizard on top of a skyscraper, but it's my actual, honest-to-God job now. It's a long story, but long stories seem to be all the rage these days, right? It all started a while ago. Oh, God. Did you seriously just interrupt me for a flashback? I remember it as clear as day. I am very much stuck here. Black and white is not a good look for me. <laughs> Poor Camo. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be amazing. I love it already, it's so good! Issue number one, a spot of trouble. Ah, I love it, they call it issues! Yes! Ah, uh, this is so good. Yes, pride flag. The Halvane, 1849. Friday. The last few rays of sunlight blew through the stained glass windows of this old bar. So too bleeds my nemesis. This grueling battle's lasted most of the day, but I finally have him where I need him. All it takes is one more blow. I steal myself and ready my weapon. <laughs> you alright there, Alex? Do you know what other word for spiky plant with soothing juice? How many letters? Four? Probably aloe, then? My strokes are quick, precise. All it takes is four letters in my name and address, and I'll have conquered this week's crossword magazine. I sheathe my trusty weapon by putting on the cap and snack on, snack on some celebratory peanuts. They're so salty, I think I just swallowed five times my daily recommended sodium intake. 
You know these can you know those contests are all rigged, right? Jules won a hairdryer once. The one he had to pawn off because he doesn't have any fur? He still won! The Sphinx cat sitting on the stool next to me looks up from their phone like a fish coming up for air. He doesn't, it doesn't stop them from continuing to scroll down a never-ending fuse feed of celebrity gossip and food photos. All while stirring a cup of tea with their own other paw. A true master of multitasking, this one. With the owner out for a smoke, it's just the two of us here right now. Some would say it's pretty dead for a Friday night, but I don't mind. Sometimes the rich, sometimes the rich bitter aroma of fresh coffee is better company than most of the regulars. So I like to tell myself to ease the creeping loneliness. Well, what are you trying to get anyway? I close the magazine and stuff it into the and stuff it into the messenger bag, sitting at my feet, kicking under the dark, scratched wooden counter. A uh, grand prize is a new bike. They cock an eyebrow. The stirring stops. Their tea still swirling in its cup. They're not struggling to break down the entire pot of sugar they downed in it. Hold one, giving up the ghost. I nod my head solemnly, swallowing. Memories playing in my mind like a clip show episode. Sucks, man. I've had that rust bucket since high school, but I still feel a pit in my stomach just thinking about it. You said it. I just had it fixed up last month, too. There's some things even a good oiling and lubricating can't fix. Yeah, I love life's living proof of that. God bless its little wheels. It's been through a lot. They wipe a fake tear from their eye, popping a single peanut into their mouth. Dad said it's just at the end of its lifespan. I'd buy a new one, but money's a bit tight at the moment. Well, like always, but Lou doesn't need to know that. Can you borrow someone else's? What about Max's? I don't ever see him riding it. That's because he just flies everywhere. I bury my face in my paws, resting my elbows on the counter. He doesn't let me ride. He doesn't let me ride it anymore. How come? I kind of almost crashed last time I borrowed it. Actually, I uh, did crash. It fell right into the canal, into the canal too. <gasps> Is that how the Sway's Canal thing happened? Damn near got hit by an underwater train. Underwater train? When I tried to swim. When I tried to swim out. Who knew they went so fast? The door opens, and for just a second, a crisp spring breeze gra grazes my fur, making it stand on end. Ugh, that's me, guys. Sorry about that. Alex, been getting into trouble again? What else is new? Feathers tickle the back of my neck, and I feel a clawed hand on my shoulder. Well, well, if it ain't the namesake of this place. <gasps> Rooster! It's a cock. We all love cock. You better not be molting right now. Hey, Willie, how's the weather out there? I catch the telltale scent of cigarettes and freshly ground coffee. The returned rooster slips between us, offering Lou the closest thing to a smile someone with that pliable lips can muster. Even with just the three of us in here, his presence fills the room. Absolute shite is what it is. They're expecting, these, they're expecting some, some spring showers in a couple hours. So I hope you brought your raincoats. That's not the ordinary for Shippersburg. Lou takes a sip of their tea. The slurping is very audible. I like it. The sun's terrible for my skin anyway. Well, I don't. All this rain lately has all this rain lately hasn't been good for business. And with the anniversary coming up and all. Anniversary? First time I hear about that. Blimey, don't tell me you forgot about the big twenty-five. You didn't put up any flyers or anything. How are we supposed to know? Pardon me for thinking I'd build up enough of a reputation. The hen, the hen does apparently appear in some sightseeing guides, probably the only LGBT bar that does. I've been coming here almost every week since college, so I know some of the stories. It used to be an old church building that sat abandoned for decades after the war. According to Willem, the Shippersburg City Council kept making plans for it. A recreation center, a mall, even a museum at one point, but they dragged their feet for so long that eventually they just decided on demolishing it. That's when Willem decide, ended up buying it for dirt cheap. Uh, to say it took a lot of elbow grease to fix up is an understatement. He's shown me pictures of what it was like before, and the building had more holes in it than a cheese factory. He did keep the stained glass windows, even the church bell still works, allegedly. Though I've never heard it ring. Lately, the only, thing's been, the only thing anyone's talking about is the art gallery across the street. What's an art gallery that ain't, What's an art gallery got that I don't have, eh? About... They scroll down on their phone. I catch a glimpse of some old-looking paintings on their screen. Uh, 10,000 followers? Um, oh, I love his eyes. Look at his eyes. <laughs> hey. Oh, I've seen their ads and billboards around town. Apparently, they've recently bought an address made, brought, a, brought an address made entirely out of euro bills and diamonds worth a whopping 6 million euros in total. Forget the bike. I could buy out an entire entire biker gang with that kind of money. 
For one gallery? They shrug. Art's getting more popular with young people these days. And they've snaggled lots of big name artists by the looks of it. They even have a they even have von von Hulnick. Von Hewelink. Help me, I'd rather have a couple good regulars than Van Hewelink or a faceless crowd of followers. Do you even have an do you even have an account? The rooster brushes clawed fingers through his comb, shaking his head. For the love of God, it's 2035! Get with the times, Willie! Oh, Al here, can you help out some... Al here can help you out sometime. Uh, Lou's bony elbow hits me right in the ribs. I clear my throat. So, when's the party? Next week on Saturday. You lot, you lot are welcome, too. You lot are welcome, too, of course. He hands me an invitation printed on cheap printer paper. Lou leans on my shoulder to catch a glimpse of it, too. Wouldn't mess it for the world. Need help decorating again? Be chuffed to bits to have you. I uh, I gotta work next Saturday. Sorry. Again, man, they've been running you repair boys ragged lately. They take another sip. That team must have gotten pretty cold by now. Tell me about it. They haven't had a proper day off in months. Offer still stands if you want to work reception with me. My manager already said hard pass. Come on, beggars can't be choosers. The coffee isn't that bad. I point at the bro at the brow piercing. Then at my tongue piercing. What am I, su what am I supposed to do about this? Cover my my with <laughs> cover my my polite fleek if they flaw. <laughs> so you'd probably set off a few metal detectors. Big deal. One of my coworkers has more tasks than a cheetah has stripes. Willem strokes his waddle. <clears throat> One second. Gotta bring up that voice I was doing, huh? Pretty sure cheetahs have spots. I'll just keep doing repairs, I guess. You don't sound too happy. I feel like it's all I'm really good at. What a load of rubbish. Well, he's right. I've, I've tried your salsa dips. Huh, thanks. But hey, if there's anything I can do, let me know. It feels like the only times I hang out with you nowadays are office parties. We really gotta meet outside work more. Right, we even had to plan to meet up today. But we can catch a movie when things slow down. Good idea, there's this one I really want to see. I immediately feel a primordial sense of terror encroaching upon me, eating away at the very core of my being. If this is another horror flick... They click their tongue. Nice. <laughs> I'm not sure they'd sell you another ticket to a horror movie after you screamed the house down last time. It's all coming back to me now. The blood, the gore, the expensive popcorn I throw all over my hoodie. I can still smell the caramel. I, I, I thought it was just going to be a romance flick. N don't tell me that we're going to be ghosts. Really? You passed out before the ghosts even showed up. We rest their chin on their hand. You can rest easy this time. That fish ain't my mother's coming out in a few days. The really bad musical? You mean the most amazing musical? The review I read called it god called it a god awful train wreck. Direct quote, and that was the nicest thing they had to say about it, which is exactly why we should go see it. Don't make me drag Willem along instead. Willem behind the bar recoils, nearly backing into the wine bottles. <laughs> well, yeah, well I ain't letting you rope me into another one after that after what you pulled last month. Um, excuse me, Poultrygeist 3 was a work of art. You have no respect for the classics. Oh my god, Poultrygeist! Oh my god! If you guys haven't watched Poultrygeist, it is an insanely gory, incredibly low-budget trauma pick. <laughs> and apparently this universe has had three... has had three of them. Oh lord. If that's move, that movie's a classic, I'm the Queen of Batavia. I suppose it's up to me to defuse this argument before the claws come out. The new Lions Brigade movie's coming out soon. Why don't we go see that? Didn't they end the franchise, what, 20 years ago? It's a reboot. Alex, aren't we a little old for comic book movies? I'm 28. Hell, you're older than I am. Exactly. Face it, Al. We're dinosaurs at this point. Fossils, remnants of a bygone age. I get the point. Give it a couple more years and you can't even put Twink in your profile anymore. I roll my eyes. So what makes musicals any better? Musicals let me pretend I at least have some class. If you're dinosaurs, what's that make me, eh? Someone who can pour us another round of drinks. You want a beer, Al? It's on me. Uh, one more for this dinosaur. Some bitterballin' too. You heard the man, Willie. <laughs> drinking up. Oh, Lord, drinking up and planning a movie. 
Wait. Wait. Is that the bar? Does this... What? Oh. <gasps> ah. Yes. That's gotta be at Astra. Love it. Echo. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder what the... Sim oh, the symbolism in this. Oh. Yes, all the characters. Yep, yep, I recognize them. Oh my god. Yes! Oh. Oh, this is so cool! It's completely dark out by the time I leave. Rain's tapping away at the awning, but the downpour hasn't deterred some of the usual Friday night crowd from exploring the crown jewel of Batavia, City of the Future. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. I love this. The production quality is off the fucking charts. Guys, please check us out. It's called Glory Hounds. I can't wait to show you more. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!